I think you are the first performance analyst I'm talking to. So um, that's something special to me. What, what do you do? So the performance analyst uh, in an instructional systems design or nowadays the learning experience design context looks at the performance requirements of the learners who are really performers back on the job. So what is it they do performance-wise? When you're looking, when you're analyzing performance, you have to understand quite clearly what are the outputs people are on the payroll to produce? How do you measure them? How do you know a good one from a bad one? Who are the various stakeholders? You know, are there government regulators? Are there management? Are there downstream customers? Are there employees? So who are the stakeholders for the output? And who are the stakeholders for the process or the set of tasks, including behaviors? Uh, there's uh, behavioral tasks that we can see and we can count. There are cognitive tasks that we cannot see, we cannot count. We don't know what people are thinking while they're doing. And so, but we, that's part of what we instructional designers or analysts or developers need to understand in order to build instruction or learning or job aids, which are nowadays known as performance support. So how do we enable performance? So a performance analyst also helps the client understand, you know, the client may be coming to you for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, they have new hires that don't know the job and we need to train them. So we can figure that out. They may have performance problems in their workplace and they think that training is the answer. Those I've learned to be suspicious about because what the data shows from is that most performance, most training requests or learning requests that are related to a performance problem are not due to individuals' knowledge and skill deficits. They're due to other environmental factors, usually. It's not about the people. 